Fans were outraged when Team USA snubbed Caitlin Clark for the 2024 Olympics, but it seems this up-and-coming star might have one last chance to go for gold. Having been drafted by the WNBA as the first pick for the Indiana Fever, Caitlin Clark's pro basketball career is on the rise, which is why it came as a huge surprise when she was reportedly snubbed by the Olympics team. It's just a, a total swing and a miss by the national governing body, by USA Basketball. The 2024 Summer Olympics women's basketball team includes notable names such as Brittany Griner, Brianna Stewart, and Sabrina Ionescu. Clark's name was not listed in the 12th player roster, but the former Iowa Hawkeyes player apparently has no hard feelings, she stated. Honestly, no disappointment. It just gives me something to work for. It's a dream. Hopefully one day I can be there. I think it's just a little more motivation. You remember that. Hopefully, when four years comes back around, I can be there. But it turns out that Clark may not have to wait four years after all. Although unconfirmed, NBA insider Shams Charania recently claimed that Clark has been placed on the alternates list as a favorite, along with the Connecticut Suns' Brianna Jones. One user on X, formerly Twitter, responded to this news by posting, I like Clark, but putting her on that Viper Olympic team could break her for good. The other players have knocked her around for weeks. Time for rest. No one will watch without her there, just like previous years. Others had a different viewpoint, however, with many arguing that leaving Clark off the main roster was a big mistake for the Olympics basketball team. Clark, step back three, knocks it down! As one of the WNBA's biggest names, Caitlin Clark would have undoubtedly drawn in many viewers for the 2024 Summer Olympics, leading some fans and critics to claim that snubbing her was a major foul move. Journalist Michael McCarthy of Front Office Sports tweeted, Leaving Caitlin Clark off the Olympic team is terrible for NBC Sports, which is paying billions for U.S. TV rights. She would have absolutely supercharged Olympic TV audiences the way she did in college and now in the pros. Short-sighted doesn't begin to describe this decision. Meanwhile, one fan argued, She's simply not good enough. Top rookies in the NBA wouldn't make Team USA either. Let's not disrespect the game because of popularity. Another wrote, She's got better numbers right now than 41-year-old Diana Taurasi, who will be in her sixth Olympics. Was five Olympics not enough for Taurasi? Team USA's roster certainly has no shortage of Olympic vets, with only four team members counted as first-time Olympians. The one thing that those Olympics newbies have over Clark, however, is more experience playing for the WNBA. And that's the exact reason she wasn't this year's pick. Many would argue that Caitlin Clark has the skills to play in the 2024 Summer Olympics, but the panel just didn't think she had enough experience under her belt. The head of the selection committee for the USA basketball team, Jen Rosati, told the Associated Press that was why Clark was not selected for this year's games. She also insisted that the Indiana Fever players' growing fan base didn't affect their decision. It would be irresponsible for us to talk about her in a way other than how she would impact the play of the team, because it wasn't the purview of our committee to decide how many people would watch or how many people would root for the U.S. It hasn't officially been confirmed that Clark is one of the top alternates, of course, and while Brittany Griner's recent toe injury might have cemented her place on the team, it doesn't seem that kept Griner off the court for long. Still, anything can happen before July, and if the news about the alternates list is true, then a stroke might just give Clark the chance to go for gold after all.